Good morning, everyone. It's 10 after the hour. Now, the right siding can dramatically boost your home's appearance. In our Do It Yourself project, we're learning about some of the alternatives for stone exteriors. Now, Andrew Lacombe joins us from Lowe's in Marquette Township with more details. Andrew? Good morning, Vicki. That's right. For today's Do It Yourself project, we're looking at a product that can really make it easier to uh, make your home look look very nice with some stone exterior. But it's you're not using the real thing, so it's it's much easier to uh, to go through the process. Jeremy Wright from Lowe's joins us now, and, and Jeremy, just tell me what's different between the this process and, and installing regular stone. Well, the biggest thing is that you're not working with a round product. Anytime, just like a ball, it's going to want to roll away. So with this, it's nice and flat on the back. But has the look of a stone on the front. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's pretty obvious how the, how this could be easier. Um, what kind of uh, tools should you uh, get get ready before you go ahead with an installation? Uh, a couple different tools you're gonna want. You might need uh, just a small mallet, a chisel of some kind, a grout bag or a grout float, um, something that when you're putting on your mortar, which we'll talk about later, it's gonna have like create grooves in it, so that way the stone has something to stick to. And then to uh, cut any metal that you might be working with, you might need a pair of uh, tin snips. Okay. And what about the prep work before you, I mean, before you put the stuff on, on your house? Uh, clean surface is the big thing. So, you know, you're going to want to, if you're putting up against a house, you're going to put either plywood or OSB. Then you can put some kind of uh, weather barrier behind uh, everything else that we're going to talk about in a little bit. Okay, so we were talking about some stone. Just tell me, is the is the price a, a difference between the uh, alternative and, and the real thing? Well, you know, stones are everywhere, so you can just go out to someone's backyard that might have a big rock pile, and you can pick what you want. So those would be free, but then you've got maybe the headache of what it may take to keep it all putting it on there. Time is money, right? Okay, so uh, we also have uh, something that, that looks like bricks, and it's kind of a similar process here that, that you can... Uh, go through? Yeah, it's the same process as the stone. The only thing is, is this brick, instead of actually applying the brick, it comes on a web-based, uh, just like tile wood, where it's all held together. So you're just laying flat pieces in, uh, you know, more like a one by two chunk versus like a six inch by eight inch piece at a time. Now, uh, for a, for installing a stone, I'm sure the amount of time depends on obviously how much you're putting up, but uh, is it a pretty, I mean, if, if you get the hang of it, you can go through it kind of quickly? Well, the biggest thing is you got to let stuff dry in between different phases. So it takes, you know, anywhere from two to three days to maybe a week, again, depending on the size of everything. All right. Well, Jeremy, we'll be back here uh, looking more at the process and, and talking about the installation of, of these stone alternatives. So thanks for being here this morning, and we'll head back to the studio now live in Marquette Township, Andrew Lacombe, TV. TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Andrew. Sounds Good like morning, it. Vicki. That's right. We are ready to go now. We're back here at Lowe's. And you know, as you look at this wall, these stones look real. But as you look at the back here, you can tell it's just actually concrete, not a real stone. It's an alternative. And this would be pretty yeah, easy to install on the outside of your house, at least easier than stone, right? Uh, Jeremy Wright is back with us from, sorry, that was terrible, um, from Lowe's. And uh, and so, Jeremy, just tell me, uh, the, the, we talked really about the prep work going into this. Just tell me uh, what people need to think about before they get going with the project. Uh, the biggest thing you got to think about is, is having a little bit of time. You know, you have to put a scratch coat on over this metal uh, lath, and that's got to take 24 to 48 hours to dry. Then after that, you've got to put more mortar on the back of these stones. And that's why this is easier, because it's a nice flat stone to put the mortar on. Um, but then that's got to dry. And then you've got to put your grout in between all the cracks to make it look like just one nice stone wall. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, planning and, and, and waiting, it sounds like, through this process. Now, do, do these come in, in shapes all? I imagine you get a bunch of different shapes to do this. Yeah, in... They say you want to lay out, you know, about 25 square feet worth of different stones. So that way, as you're going through, you can grab the different sizes that you may need from your pile. That way you don't have to try to use the chisel and have to worry about what the edge is going to look like of it. You want to try to keep the pieces as whole as possible, just like you can see behind you. What happens if you use uh, too much of this mix here? Does it get, do things get messy and just kind of not in place, or does that just take longer to dry? Uh, it takes longer to dry. Uh, the more you put on, obviously the thicker it is and the longer it takes for that inner part to dry, just like a cookie. Okay, and uh, so we talked really about some of the tools you need. Uh, it's something that, how much experience uh, with, with a project like this do you think people need before they, before they jump in? Um, you probably want, I mean, you probably want to practice on something that's not going to be your final project first. Uh, maybe on a small, you know, like 
maybe a shed out back that on the back side of it that way you get used to working with the mortar you get used to just putting the stones up so that way you know when you get to do the front of your house it's going to look just nice and crisp Okay. Jeremy, thanks so much for being here this morning. Uh, you know, we were talking earlier, this is maybe a little bit more expensive than uh, using real stones, but I think it, it seems a, a lot easier. So I've never put stones on a house, but it doesn't sound like uh, too much fun. So, all right, Jeremy, thanks so much for being here. And uh, we'll now head back to the studio live in Market Township. Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News. Thank you, Andrew. And we'll be right back with Sean Householder and a look at your weather as you head out the door this morning.